Hello, this is just a short tutorial on how you can use ChatGPT or any artificial intelligence tool to create a Kahoot or a Blookit much faster than normal. Anyone who's made one of these would know it can be a little bit time consuming. So this is just a quick way to do it with the use of AI. First step, um, I've just clicked Create Kahoot. We're going to do it on Planets. You can add question and then down here it says Import Spreadsheet. We're going to click on that and you're going to download that template. And then for Blookit, um, when you click Create, uh, you're going to click CSV Import. And if I click Create, it has download the template just there. So I'm going to show you how to do both. Um, the templates look like this. So this is the Kahoot one. Uh, and this is the Blookit one. They're virtually the same. It just asks for the questions in this column and then the four answers in their own column. Time limit in seconds and then correct answer at the end. And it needs to be in a number. So now that we have those spreadsheets ready, we're going to go to ChatGPT. I've got my prompts. Uh, and we're going to go and ask it for 20 multiple choice questions. I said on the topic of planets in the solar system. I said suitable for grade seven students. And we also want it to give us the answer key as well. So let's ask it for that. Great, now that it's finished doing that, we can go through. Obviously, I would uh, check those questions and check the answers to make sure they're right. But we're just gonna skip that part. Uh, and then we're gonna go to our next prompt. Um, and all this prompt is doing is essentially just putting it in the same table format as the spreadsheet asks for it. So question, answers, time limit, I just said 20 seconds and then correct answer. Okay, great, now that it's done that, um, again, would not hurt to double check it all, but I'm just going to skip that part. Uh, and then we're going to copy that table. There we go. Copy that info. Go back to the spreadsheet. So we'll start with the block at one first. Paste it in. Um, and we can see it's all good. Uh, so as I said, this answers need to be a number. So obviously A and 1. So A would be 1. B would be 2. C would be 3. D would be four. So I'm just going to change these over to numbers. There we go. Uh, and now that one is ready, but we're just going to copy that. Uh, and we're going to put that into our Kahoot spreadsheet. That's ready to go. So for the Kahoot, it needs to be a spreadsheet file. So we'll just save that one. But for Blookit, it actually needs to be a CSV file. So we're going to go file, save as, and then our file format, we're just going to click CSV and then we'll save. So now we're ready to go back to the web browser. So for Kahoot, oh, we'll start with book actually. Oh, that's my preference. CSV import, we're gonna click create, and then we're gonna upload. And there it is, our CSV file. Open it up, and then we're good to go. So we can see it's got the right answer in for all of them, and all 20, and then we just save it, and that one's ready. So go to Kahoot, we've got add questions, import spreadsheet, Select the file, Kahoot quiz, open it up. So all questions are good. Sometimes if the questions are too long, you might need to fix it up, but these ones are fine. Add the questions and there we are. All 20 questions are in there. Just make sure you delete the very first slide. You've officially made a Kahoot and a Blookit using ChatGPT. Enjoy.